I do not take fault for your game taking a fat dump. All right, so literally, if if you skip this, you might as well just get the f out of here. All right. So, let me guess, you're here because you want to install LSPDFR. Well, you came to the wrong place. Nah, I'm just kidding. First thing you do when you install LSPDFR is you look at this file right here. You see this? You open it up, and that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, enough messing around. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today's video, we are officially installing LSPDFR, the base game, all right? So no extra plugins, no extra scripts, mods things all right <laughs> so that is what we're doing today in this video i um, not sure how long it's gonna be uh, might be uh, 10 hours I don't know I'm going to be doing this with you guys so bear with me all right I am not a pro at installing mods I'm not a pro at any of this stuff I am just a player and a youtuber that kind of knows this stuff because of other people all right I grew up watching Benzo and Jeff Aviano and Steve the gamer I learned a lot from Jeffrey gamer for sure so, shout out to them. You guys asked for it. I am finally going to be making a updated 2024 video of LSPDFR, the base game install. So this is for the base game, so nothing extra. I will have all the requirements that you guys need linked in the description down below. So be sure to look at that. Now, if you guys don't stay to the end of this video and you have your, if your game, if your game crashes, that's on you. That's on you. That's on, that is not me. All right. I do not take fault for your game taking a fat dump. All right. So literally, if if you skip this, you might as well just get the f out of here. All right. Enough wasting time. Let me go ahead and point up what you guys need right now. So you guys first, first thing you need is a clean copy of GTA 5. Either that's through Steam or through Epic Games. Now, this is primarily for Steam users only because I am experienced through Steam. Now, if, through, if you're through Epic Games, figure out how to get to your GTA 5 directory. Pretty much the same thing from there. I'm not sure, I, I don't do Epic Games, but again, this is for Steam users only, so there you go. Once you have a clean copy of GTA 5, second, you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR installed into your PC so you can open up files. You need a file extractor and those are either or. I'll leave links in the description and if you don't know how to install it, find another video. I am not your guy. After that is installed, then you will need Microsoft C++, whatever that file is installed. It isn't actually required. I know a lot of people have this problem. I know I did way back. If you were to boot up LSPDFR, sometimes you have a problem with this Microsoft file not being installed. If you do, install it. Again, the link is down below. Step one, open up your browser. I use Google Chrome, all right? Easy. Now, we type in lcpdfr.com easy peasy squeezy lemon all right enter you guys want an in-depth video you're getting it it is right here all right typing that in it brings you straight to the lcpdfr.com website and what you do is you can either hit get lspdfr for gta 5 right here or you can just hit downloads and go through there obviously we're just doing lspdfr base game so let's just go ahead and click on this so we're going to click on that brings you to this and then after that you hit download lspdfr 0.4.9 so let's go ahead and do that now look at this closely i can't stress this enough just just look at it and read it please go through the front page if you are very new if you are a noob to modding for the first time or whatever read the front page just read it, it literally has a massive message right here just read this i know a lot of people do have antivirus software programs other than Windows Defender. And if you are having problems booting up LSPDFR, one of the reasons could be because of your antivirus. So disable that if you are having problems. Again, it says it right here. I'm not gonna read it to you, all right? I'm not your English teacher. And down here, if you are installing LSPDFR 0.4 for the first time, we strongly recommend that you do so on a clean copy of GTA 5 without any other mods or plugins, okay? They tell you right there, it's not that hard. And like, they even have the links to install right there. You guys don't even need me. Video's over. We made it to this page. Click download this file. All right. We're downloading this. Agree and download. And then you're brought up with these two. You do have a uh, automatic install, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and there's the manual install. I 
suggest using the manual install. It is the best way to learn how to navigate through your GTA 5 directory, and it also helps with installing other plugins and mods. So let's go ahead and hit download on this one. And it is gonna pop up, give it a few seconds, it says right there. All right, there we go, popped up right in the corner. I'm doing this with you guys, all right? So be sure to follow along. There we go, LSPDFR downloaded. Now, if you want to see your desktop, just grab the top of your browser right here in this open space and just click and drag. And you can also just hold on to the corners to adjust because you're gonna wanna see your desktop. As you can see, my desktop is very nice. We brought it right there. You can hit that arrow. If you're not using this, just go to your file explorer on the bottom here or type it in, all right? And just go to downloads and then you'll see it right there. And you can just drag and drop onto your desktop. Typically, since mine pop up right here because I'm using Google Chrome, I'm just going to drag and drop. Boom, done, all you need. X out of Chrome, you don't need it. So now this is on the desktop. I'm gonna put it right up top, right there. Now, we navigate to the GTA 5 directory. Again, this is for mainly Steam users. Epic game users, figure it out yourself. That's not me. Now, we're going to bring up Steam. Click on library. And as you can see, you got your games there and you'll see Grand Theft Auto 5. If you click on that and then you right click, right? Go down to properties, click on that. Installed files, all right, right there. Click on browse, right there. This brings you straight to your GTA 5 directory. This is the best way to do it, all right? Because Steam is just so much easier. Just Get the game through Steam, please. Then after that, you can just X out of Steam or whatever because you have your directory open. This is what the GTA 5 directory looks like and this is where all your mods and plugins go. So I'm doing this on a clean copy, all right? There's no mods, nothing on this copy, all right? So I suggest making a GTA 5 directory shortcut onto your desktop. Usually that's what I do. I have it on my other monitor so you guys can't see it. So to make the shortcut, all you gotta do is go back a page uh, by hitting common right here. So once we hit common, it brings you to your list of games uh, through Steam and mine is right here. So as you can see, I have other copies. Ignore that for right now, okay? This is the main one. It should say Grand Theft Auto 5. All you gotta do is right click, create shortcut. That's all you gotta do. And then after that, drag and drop right onto your desktop. That's all you gotta do. I already have one on my desktop. It'll ask me to replace it. I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to let go in here. But again, drag this shortcut onto your desktop. It is the easiest way to navigate to your directory without having to go through Steam every single time. All right, so now that you have your directory open, you are ready to install. All you have to do is open up your LSPDFR download, double click on it. This dumb ad will pop up if you're using WinRAR. I have whatever the free version is, this always pops up for me, just X out of it. Um, and then here is your download. Again, you could resize your windows by dragging the corners. Just click and hold. Works on either one. With your directory, you always want some plain space like this right there. Okay? Here's all your files. Drag and drop. All you gotta do. Except for one file. You don't really need licenses right there. So, we're just going to click. Drag all the way up. You're going to unclick licenses. Now, how to do that? You hold the left control key. All right, let me show you my keyboard because a lot of you people just don't know. See my keyboard? It's upside down. This is the left side for me, okay? I have my face cam mirrored right there. It says CTRL. Hold it down. Hold that down. Left control. Hold it down. Click on licenses. It unchecked it. And then you can just let go. This stuff is still highlighted. Now what you do, drag, drop. That's it. That's all you need. It's going. Now it's going to ask to replace two files. At least I think that'll happen with you guys. I try to do a full clean version. If it does say replace, just replace. I try to get the cleanest copy of GTA I could. This is, trust me, it's a clean copy. All right, I'm going to boot this up at the end to show you guys that this all works. Now it's all in. You have LSPDFR, the base game. That's it. You're done. X out of the download. Here's your directory. Leave this open because we got a couple more steps. If you don't want to go to your directory every time to boot up Rage because you boot up GTA 5 through Rage plugin hook to activate LSPDFR. So if you don't want to go to your directory every time, you want to make a shortcut of the Rage plugin hook. So just go ahead, right click this, create shortcut, drag and drop right onto your desktop. 
You could rename it if you want. Um, I leave it how it is, whatever you want. Uh, having that, and you could delete it out of your directory too if you want. So I'm gonna do that. There you go. You got it right there. You can actually delete this. You're ready to boot up GTA 5 with LSPDFR. Now, I'll do it with you guys. Let me go ahead and double click this. There's a couple more steps you gotta do. I'm gonna double click that. This will pop up. Three, two, one. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. This is I have a perfectly working game, no problems. If you want your game to work the best way possible, watch this. It's important. All right, now that this popped up, under general, your plug-in timeout threshold, just change this to 60,000. All right, just change it to it. Leave that how it is. Go over to plugins. Now, since you only have LSPDFR installed, you could do load all plugins on startup. I suggest leaving it on load these plugins on startup and then you can manually select. But since this is the only one, um, you could have it on this. But if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, leave it at this. All right, just do it this way. It's easier, it's better. Now, moving on. As you can see, I don't check it because I load it in game. So moving on, advanced settings. I kind of just leave this how it is. You could do whatever you want. Again, follow what I'm doing, just leave it. Game settings, command line switches. Just scroll down so you see force windowed mode, all right? Just have that. You wanna boot up LSPDFR in windowed mode because it just kinda helps with loading. At least that's what I do. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. You're good to go. Now, all you gotta do is click save and launch. There we go. And this will pop up, just hit okay. Good to go, game's gonna load. And it should bring up the Rockstar game services, launcher, whatever it's called. And if you're stuck at the screen, it's saying launching game. You're like, it's not loading. It's not loading. It's, I've been stuck at launching game for the past week. It's because you got to click on play on Steam. I had this problem. I was actually that dumb too. I didn't click this. You just got to click on here, play on Steam. Boom. Play. Hit yes. Then it should load. I'm going to sit here and let this boot up. All right. Here we go. As you can see, it's kind of in windowed mode. I think you guys can see that. But I'm going to sit back, watch with you guys, so you know I didn't break anything or, you know, do anything different. So I'm just going to sit here and stare. I may actually time lapse this. Oh, that's right. They did something new. Story mode with plug and hook. Click this. There we go. Now let it load. All right, we're in game. Now that we're in game, you're still in Windows mode. All you gotta do to get out of it is hold the left Alt key, all right? The one that says ALT, you just hold that down and click the Enter key. It's one of the biggest keys on your keyboard. So left Alt, Enter. You're out of Windows mode. Now you're in full screen. Now some people may have a little glitch where if you look at the bottom left, my mini map is kind of off-centered. Just hit the Escape button to pause and undo it. It goes right back into place. Look at that, base game installed. Now what to do is you hit F4, type in load plugin. Now you don't always have to type in the full thing, okay? What you can do is hit LO and see how load plugin is highlighted? Just hit tab. It'll auto put it in for you. Then after that, space. As you can see, LSPD first response pops up right there. Hit tab again. There you go. Now hit enter. There we go. Letting it load, letting it load. I think we're in. Loading at the bottom right. Everything's going. We're looking good. Okay, we're in. Once you see your highlight thing blinking on the top left, just hit F4 again. We are now in LSPDFR. The first thing you have to do is go to the station, become a character or create your character and whatnot. As you can see, when you hit the menu or the map, you can see all the police stations, the jails, they're all popping up. Now, if you want to go to a police department, just hit F4 again, type in go to PD. All right, if you type in that and hit enter and hit F4, it'll take you to the Mission Row Police Department. And here is where you can create your character. Everything works, trust me, everything. You just go straight to the locker room, go in here, mess around with it. It's so simple, guys. I'm not gonna show you everything creating character because this is, it's literally plain and simple for me. Get out of the way, I'm trying to get out. That's it though, that's it. Now, if you guys want to 
spawn a car without going into the garage every time. You could bring up the F4 console, which is the Rage console, and type in spawn police. And it'll spawn a cop car right there. Let me just get in. Yeah, see, everything works. And this is base game, so it's going to be pretty average. As you can see, it works. Obviously, we're not on duty, but again, you could do that yourself. All right, LSPDFR is in. It should not crash. It's literally the only thing in the game. Everything's going to work. Trust me. Now, I forgot to say, if you aren't at a free play or free mode state in the game, and that means you're not in the middle of a mission, you're not in the middle of a firefight, you're not in the middle of robbing banks or whatever, you have to be in a free play, free mode state in the game in order to have all this work correctly. So that means if you have just started GTA 5, you have to get through the whole beginning. That is pretty much it for this video. Um, really not much to it. Again, all the links are in the description. If you do need them, rewatch the video again. All right, very simple to get the base game of LSPDFR installed. Not much to it. If you guys do want to see the next part of the LSPDFR tutorials, that means more essentials, scripts, plugins, whatever in the future, this video has to get to 300 likes, all right? 300. If I don't get 300 likes, stop in here, all right? <laughs> I'm not a tutorial guy. I am a streamer for LSPDFR and I make videos, uh, but I would be more than happy to show you guys how to install stuff LSPDFR wise because I do have a very good working game. Like nothing crashes anymore. 300 likes, get it there. If it does, we'll do the next one, all right? That could be anything. Stop the pad, ultimate backup, CompuLite, Prowler radar, LiDAR gun, callouts, easy as that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Again, hit that like button. Comment down below. Um, if you do have problems, I'm probably not gonna answer because you probably didn't watch the whole video. <laughs> we'll see. If it's a question way out of the ordinary that I may have missed something, maybe. We'll see. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Catch you in the next one.